going on guys out here at the wood lot just ready to split some hickory and some oak um haven't made a video in a while so i figured i need to uh get some video on some splitting so today we're splitting it's still hot as you can see i'm sweating like always um i think it's in the 90s and today is supposed to hopefully be the last warm day for a bit but i've said that before and and then it doesn't stop so uh, like I said, we're just splitting some hickory and some oak today with the built right. So if you stick with me, we'll uh, get some stuff done.
Yeah, this is uh, mainly hickory right here. And there's some oak in there. Got some red oak, all rotten. I'm just hitting the edges of this oak. This is what they drop, dropped off a couple weeks ago. So uh, you take the good with the bad. Like I said, I'm just getting the edges of this, <clears throat> saving that. It's kind of a pain, but like I said, just gotta deal with it because uh, they dropped off a bunch of good, nice hickory. Nice straight hickory around. You guys know how straight the hickory can get, so. Got a lot of straight hickory. Got some, uh, got some um, hackberry hickory, and then I think there's some um, poplar in there, which is, it's okay. I don't mind poplar. I'll take it and mix it in. Um, so yeah, pretty decent manageable rounds there. Um, I did make a video not that long ago. I didn't show it because I've just been so busy. Got this stuff. I might just burn this. This is a lot of nasty stuff. Um, yeah, I broke off my splitter. Broke the wedge off this old girl a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. And then I uh, had them, uh, had a machine shop come down and weld it back on. So, um. I think I need a wedge that's a little, a little narrower, but here's uh, it's these rounds here. This is that, this is that sugar maple, that really dry sugar maple, and it does not want, it does not want to be split. So, yeah, I thought it was splitting, and uh, it started moving, and then it started lifting up, and I'm like, what's going on? So I look under, and I see my my wedge uh, pretty much ripping right off uh, the uh, I beam. So. Uh, got it welded back on. I guess we'll uh, try to hit the edges of those. But like I said, there's so many knots on those that it makes it kind of a pain. Like there's, I think, three sides of knots on these, so it's not going to be easy to split. So if I got to burn that stuff instead of tearing my stuff up, I will. But yeah, I'm just trying to fill these bins again. It's always something to fix. Put that. That's getting low. Um, Getting low there. This skid steer, uh, the cylinder was leaking on this thing, so I took it off. Took it to a hydraulic shop, having them uh, put new seals in that, um, putting a new carburetor in it, new fuel pump. The engine's been kind of hesit hesitating and stalling out on me, so I'm going to um, change the fuel filter, the fuel pump and then the new car uh put a new carburetor so hopefully that that fixes it and then this um cylinder that's been leaking it'll be fixed here in about a week so so yeah i got some stuff to split you know hopefully this is the last hot day it's definitely been hot i'm sick of this heat so we're supposed to be getting down into the low 70s and then some 60s next week so i'll be pretty comfortable out here and uh, I'll be able to come out here and split all day long and the heat, you know, won't it won't bother me in the 60s and 70s. So but Yeah, haven't made a video in a while. It's been uh, Busy busy So I apologize. I'll try to keep these videos coming and uh, Yeah, hopefully with the cooler weather we'll get more splitting done and get, get a lot more things done. So piles building up again with a lot of uh, junk, so I'll be burning that here after a while. But yeah, it's supposed to rain the next three, four days, so hopefully everything cools down and hopefully the yellow jackets go back in. So until next time, guys, have a good one.